Welcome back, nerds. I'm Miss Westmoreland, and today we are going to learn about Mars, my second favorite planet. My first favorite planet is the Earth because I like to breathe, but Mars close second. So we're going to, I'm going to teach you a little bit about Mars, and then we're going to build a Mars rover lander egg drop. Mars is an amazing planet. It's dry and it's cold and it's dusty. And studying Mars is helping us learn more about what the Earth was like, maybe as it was forming and kind of what it might have been back way, like way back in the past. And that's why NASA has sent rovers there to help us be scientists there on Mars until we can actually send an astronaut. So, we, so far, NASA sent four Mars rovers. The first one they sent in 1997, the little tiny one, that one's called Sojourner. It was actually designed to last seven Mars souls, and a soul is a Mars day, which is about the same length as an Earth day. It was only designed to last seven, but it actually lasted for 83. So it was doing science on Mars for 83 souls, which is amazing. You can see that it has solar panels to power that rover. Um, it was extra awesome. Spirit and Opportunity, the kind of medium-sized rover over there, still a really pretty big, like this big. They were twins. They sent them both up because it's actually really hard to land things on Mars, so difficult. And a lot of the missions we've sent to Mars have failed. So they sent two rovers thinking double the chances of success. And in fact, both landed successfully on Mars and did a lot of science. Those ones were launched in 2003 landed in 2004, and they were designed only to last about 90 Mars souls, about 90 days. And Spirit, the first rover that landed, lasted for almost six years, and Opportunity for 15 years. 15 years! It was only supposed to last three months. That's amazing. Also had solar panels and did tons of amazing science on Mars. The biggest rover you see over here is the Curiosity rover, and it's a little special to my heart because I actually, in 2012, when it launched, I went to Florida to see it launch. It was amazing. Probably the best thing I've ever done in my whole life, and my favorite story to tell people. Fun fact. So, the Curiosity rover landed in 2012 and has discovered some really amazing things about how water may have existed on Mars. Um, it's still doing science and being awesome. It's done so well, in fact, that we were supposed to launch another rover this year in 2020, this summer actually, but that one's um, called Perseverance, which is a great name for a rover, I think, because Perseverance means keep trying, even though things are hard. So I'm really excited to go see that one launch too. All right, this is a little bit about some Mars facts, some factoids for you. I've included some more information on the page some other videos and resources about Mars. So you're gonna learn that next. And then we're gonna jump into our Mars rover project. So check out the next video for that one. This was just the introduction. See the full lesson at nerding.org lessons.